What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be playing around with the 6000 XP again and seeing how it does heating water with a small electric water heater. If you guys remember last winter, I was trying to save as much money as I could on the gas bill after the utility cranked up the price. I really didn't have anything as far as water heaters that I could run on solar. I just have a standard gas water heater. I was using the uh, solar heat pump to save gas on the heating bill, but as far as water heating goes, this should take a little bit of load off the gas water heater. So this was sent to me by a company called Thermomate. This is their six and a half gallon, 120 volt water heater. They actually offered to send me an eight kilowatt tankless heater, which would have been cool, but it was a little bit too big for the 6000 XP. So they've sent me this one instead. Uh, it should be a nice, easy install. The plug is already there. We just have two ports. I need to install the, uh, the relief valve, sorry, and then we'll get it piped into the house. So this is my garage heater setup. I have a tankless and a hydronic water coil. Down here, I have two service ports I use to flush it and just do general maintenance. So I'm gonna plop it right down here, pex it into the house, and we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of use we can get out of this thing. I think I could get a shower out of this. I'm a pretty quick shower, you know, laundry, dishwasher, that type of stuff. It's not gonna be able to run a bath, but I think for about 90% of your daily use, something like this you could actually get away with if you had a tiny house, even an RV, something like that. So I'm gonna get it hooked up. We'll get it filled with water, fire it up, and see how it goes. All right guys, I got the tank all plumbed in. I have filled it with water and purged all the air out. It's kind of a non-conventional way to hook up a tank, but it is temporary. I don't want this to be the permanent location. I'm kind of thinking more of a point of use water heater at some point, but for now we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna plug it in. I have a 14 gauge extension cord right here. So I'm gonna plug it in. I do need to change the breaker. We're on a 20 amp breaker right now. So that's gonna get changed. I also need to move the position because it's on the same leg of the 6000 XP as the dishwasher and I don't want them running at the same time because it would probably overload the inverter. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna see just how long it takes to uh, come up to temperature and then we'll keep an eye on the power usage. I'm gonna let it run overnight, see how much power it uses after the sun goes down. Tomorrow we'll do a little bit more testing on it. All right, so the tank is definitely up and running. We are pulling 1500 watts right now, 1.5 kilowatts on leg one. Currently sitting at 94% state of charge. Uh, coming towards the end of the day, the sun is pretty much gone down and it's really cloudy and raining today. So we'll keep an eye on the power, uh, see how long this thing takes to heat one tank of water. Over here, we are set to 125 degrees. So that should be pretty good. We'll just let it run, keep an eye on the usage and check back in here in a bit. All right guys, the tank is up to temperature already. It has shut off. Judging by the 6000 XP app, it ran from 607 to 638. So we have a full tank of water at 125 degrees. Inverter has uh, settled down on the fans and down here on the battery, we're sitting at 90%. So that's pretty good. We only use 4% of the battery to charge up or to heat up this water heater. So um, I have the valve off here. We're just about to start making dinner. We're going to be using a lot of hot water. So I'm going to open that, go shut off the main water heater and close the valves and just run this thing for uh, the next couple hours, see what kind of power we use. All right, guys, we're all finished up with dinner. The water heater worked well. I had no complaints from uh, lack of hot water or anything like that. So we did burn through a bit of power. We're down to 81% state of charge. I'll pull up the 6,000 XP app. You can see it did run four times over the last two hours, but only for about five to 10 minutes each time. It kicks on pretty quick when you start using the water, but it does satisfy the temperature pretty quick as well. So, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna actually go inside and turn the generator panel to uh, utility. Let it just run only the water heater for the night and see how much power it uses, just trying to maintain temperature. Um, I have another one of these thermal cameras. This is from Thermal Master. This is the P2. They uh, pride themselves on being the second smallest thermal camera in the world. I'm not sure who holds the title there, but I thought we'd take a quick peek at the water heater. So looks like it actually is pretty well insulated. There's a little bit of heat there around the uh, control panel at the bottom. Other than that, just the heat off the top connections, the TMP valve and the inlet and outlet connection. So we're sitting around 113 degrees right there. If I was gonna run this in my garage in the winter, I would probably insulate that little section of pipe and the TMP just to try to hold as much heat as possible. I don't think it's really worthwhile right now while it's warm in the garage, but for the winter, that's something I might do. 
All right, guys, it's the next morning. It's looking like it's gonna be a really good day as far as sun. We're already making 850 watts. The water heater did really good last night. We're sitting at 78% state of charge. The water heater ran its last cycle at 9 p.m. and it didn't run again until 8 a.m. this morning. So it went 11 hours without having to reheat the water. It held heat a lot better than I thought it was going to for a small water heater. I thought it would be bumping on the element every couple hours just to keep the temperature at 125, but it actually did really good. We didn't use much power at all. So I think for the next test, I'm just gonna go try to get a shower out of this thing. I'm not gonna make you guys watch something so horrifying. So I'll put a little temperature clamp on the hot side, just see how much time we get out of this uh this water heater running a shower all right guys change of plans i have not tried this thing for a shower yet my wife ended up running a sanitized cycle on the dishwasher so that's about a three hour high heat cycle uh it doesn't run the water the whole time but it pulses it in about four times so so far we've used just over two kilowatt hours uh just heating this water heater today so we're actually sitting with a full battery right now it's uh about three o'clock in the afternoon battery is 100 percent full maybe 99 um, yeah, 99%. So, uh, gonna go try a shower here shortly. We have nothing else running. It's a nice cool day. No AC needs to be running today. So kind of perfect timing with this water heater showing up right now. We can run this into the fall. I'm not going to be using AC a whole lot anymore. So we can kind of dedicate some of the 6,000 XP's output just to heating water. So I'm going to go try the shower. I'll get this little temp probe here turned on. We can keep an eye on the output temperature and just see how much we can get out of this tank. All right, guys, I would call that a pretty good success. I got about four minutes out of the shower, which was less than I was expecting. I might rerun the test in our other shower. I did our uh, our main bathroom. It's kind of got a big shower head. I think it might flow a higher gallons per minute. So I might try it on our second shower, just see if I get a little bit more time out of it. Over on the 6000 XP, we are charging right now. We are uh, pulling about 400 watts from the battery. The rest is coming from solar, making just over a thousand watts right now. It did not light up. Um, so yeah, the battery is going to be topped back off here in no time. Tank will be reheated in about a half hour and, uh, so far pretty good. I'm going to let it run the rest of the day. Actually, I'm going to let it, let it run the rest of the month, but tonight I'll give you a bit more of an update on how much power we use for a whole day of kind of average use and, uh, probably wrap it up after that. All right, guys, it's 10.30 p.m. It's the end of the day. I don't expect us to be using any more hot water for today, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a wrap-up. I'm going to pop the 6000 XP app up on screen. So the water heater ran a total of nine times today, and we used exactly four kilowatt hours for what I would call an average day of heating water. We had uh, some hand washing, some meal prep, a shower, and a good long dishwasher cycle. So uh, the battery stayed very full all day long. Like I said, it was only running the water heater today. So we're finishing the day at 10.30 p.m. at about 93% state of charge. Lots of battery left. When I had that shower, it didn't even touch the battery. It just ran on solar pretty much the whole time. So overall, very happy with it. Uh, if you guys are interested in a little water heater like this check out the thermal mate website so far i'm pretty happy with it i am going to turn the temperature up and just try the other shower see if i can get a little bit more shower time out of one of these small tanks but pretty happy thus far so i am going to be doing an update video on this most likely i'm kind of excited to see how much gas we can save by not running the main heater in the house i did also go ahead and swap in a 15 amp breaker so it's running on this plug through a 14 gauge extension cord everything is rated and matched appropriately so uh yeah i'll keep you guys updated thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.